What's going on guys? So what we have in front of us here is a Dell Latitude 7490 and what we'll be doing is opening up the back cover here and replacing the hard drive and I'll also show you guys how to change out your memory if you'd like to change out, if upgrade your memory um, as well as replacing the battery if you'd like to do that as well. So the first thing we'll do is a flip obviously make sure your laptop is off and then you'll see all the screws are visible up front here there's a total of eight screws three here three here and two over here and it's just a, a you know a regular Phillips screwdriver is all you'll, you'll need so let's go ahead and get started and one thing I want to mention is that the screws when you loosen them up they don't actually come out so you don't have to worry about pulling the screws out so now that we got all the screws here loosened up what you'll need to do is get a grip on the back end of the laptop uh, of the cover and just pull it back very very slowly uh, just to make sure that you all your screws are actually loosened up and then the back cover comes off just like that and you'll notice here as soon as we open it you have your battery your memory is over here your hard drive is over here so these are the three components that a lot of people will replace if your battery goes bad all what you'll need to do is obviously the first thing you want to do before you up change any parts out is the disconnect the battery uh, from from here so there's a little tab you just pull it back and make sure you're gentle with it so you don't end up ripping the actual connection the connector from the motherboard or ripping uh, the cable or anything like that so you pull it back and then it's disconnected and if you want to replace the battery it's held down by it looks to me like one two three screws so all you have to do is loosen up this screw here a screw is right over here and another screw which is over here but then I may I, I might be actually wrong so let's go ahead and go ahead and disconnect this screw remove this screw and it looks to me honestly that it's only held down by one screw so apologies these two screws are not for the battery mm -hmm. so it's held down by that one screw and you just pull the battery out and then you can replace the battery if you ever have issues with your uh, mouse uh, pad or the mouse track then it's actually all the cabling are located underneath the battery so if you feel like it's not working or something uh, just make sure that these are the connect the, the connections are all the way in and they're and they're locked and then to put the battery back in See, there is a little if you see there's a little tiny hole here so you just have to line this up with that and then your battery sits and then you just screw that one screw back on and next we'll we'll go back we'll go to the memory so if you want to upgrade your memory it does have two slots so if you want to upgrade the memory all you got to do is pull these tabs away from each other and then the memory stick will pop out and then you can just pull it out and this, uh, the, these laptops actually, and also another thing I didn't mention is uh, this is the 7490. Uh, the 7480 is pretty much the same thing as well. So um, there's, it's not much different. You may notice a, the battery might be maybe longer. I'm not sure, exactly sure, I can't remember. But it's for the most part, it looks the same. Uh, the, ba the memory that it takes is a PC4, so a DDR4. And once you have your mem memory replacement, if you want to upgrade, if you want to add the memory stick, you can just add it here. But if you want to change your memory out because it went bad or you just want to upgrade it, you it just goes in, it only goes in one way and then you just push it down and then it clicks. So that's pretty much it for the memory. Now next is our SS our, our M.2. So our SSD here, and it's just held down by one screw. So all we have to do is loosen up this one screw here on at the end and put the screw aside and then you just pull it up a little bit and you pull it and there it goes it's out and the reason why this is being replaced is because the, it, it gave out so it's uh, no longer working so we have our replacement here our replacement part and I'll make sure I'm very gentle make sure I'm not touching the other end and this is um, it's not the same obviously so this one is a Toshiba so it's not the exact same model and this is just a Dell product actually so to put it in you just 
slide that in until it goes all the way in and then it just drops it drops and it's it's perfectly aligned with the screw here we just take our screw we put our screw back in until it's tight and then that's pretty much it we can put this aside so those are the main components very simple actually it's very easy everything is is held down like the battery especially is held down by one screw so it's very easy to remove your m.2 as well very easy to remove um, the memory is always an easy thing to upgrade or, or replace and then once we're done with everything make sure that you connect your battery back in so you just push it in until it, you hear it click in make sure it's nice and snug on both ends and then um, what we'll do is take our cover and I won't screw, I won't put the screws back on just yet, but I will just close the cover. So you just push it down slightly, not too hard, just so it clicks a little bit. Um, you start basically by putting this end in and just like that. So let's go ahead and flip it, turn it on, make sure it turns on before we put all the screws back, back in. So that's obviously the one thing that we need to do because you don't want to, you definitely don't want to put all the screws back on and then realize something is not working and having to remove everything again. So as, as soon as it boots up and I see the welcome screen or the setup screen, then uh, it, we're pretty much all set up. I'll go ahead and just close the cover and put the screws back on. So it's getting the device, the devices ready. So it's just telling us that the battery is low, so the battery has to be recharged, uh, has to charge. Um, but uh, for the most part, it is booting up. I will have to plug it in so that that way it doesn't turn off so it's telling us that the hard drive has been recognized and the computer is now installing the programs that you that were included in your original system order and it could take up to 60 minutes to complete so we we don't obviously want to wait 60 minutes or you don't want to wait 60 minutes and I will not wait as well I'll just keep the laptop plugged in and let it do the installation so I will go ahead and put the screws back on and then uh, we will pretty much let this charge and install everything that we need to install so you hear it click a little bit not too much and then we'll put all the screws on and uh, honestly that's pretty much it guys thank you guys for watching if you like this video if you like this channel please subscribe like comment share with anyone that has a laptop like this or the other model the older model 7480 and needs to perform any upgrades or changing the battery ram hard drive um, and as always thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time